Hi, my name is Julie Watson. I'm a researcher at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And today I am presenting the Surprise Soap Intervention, a collaboration between the London School, Save the Children, Action Against Hunger and Care International. Uh, so Surprise Soaps are novel soaps designed to appeal to children aged between 5 and 12. They're transparent soaps with toys embedded inside, which are delivered within a short household session that um, focuses on fun, so specifically avoids health-based messaging, which research has shown is a poor motivator of behaviour change. Um, so the hypothesis is simple. Surprise soap interventions appeal to children's motives of play and curiosity, uh, motivating them to wash their hands more frequently in order to reach the toy inside the soap. This intervention was first tested in a proof of concept study in Iraq in 2018. Um, in a controlled before after study, we compared the surprise hope intervention to a standard household level hand washing intervention and found that children who received the surprise soap uh, um, were four times more likely to wash their hands in the soap than children who received the standard intervention at the four week follow up. These results were really promising and we've received quite a bit of interest from humanitarian um, organisations who would like to implement this intervention. However, there are some outstanding questions. Um, firstly, does the surprise open intervention work in more complex humanitarian settings? Can behaviour change be maintained beyond four weeks? And can the intervention be successfully implemented by other organisations? To answer these questions, we've just completed two parallel cluster randomised control trials, one in Sudan and one in Somalia. And in each trial, 200 households were equally randomised to either the intervention group or the active control group. Children in the intervention group received um, surprise soap in a 10 minute household visit where they also played um, a fun glit glitter game. And children in the control group received a standard intervention, um, also which also involved a 10 minute household visit, but instead of the Glitter game, they received health based messaging and plain soaps were distributed. And we um, followed up children's hand washing with soap behavior at four weeks, 12 weeks, and 16 weeks post baseline. Um, so the results were pretty interesting. In Sudan and Somalia, we found very similar um, similar results. So we found that uh, both the intervention group and the control group had a large increase in hand washing with soap post intervention delivery. So in Somalia, um, hand washing with soap increased by 50 percentage points and Sudan 24 percentage points from baseline to the four week follow up. And these higher rates of hand washing with soap were maintained throughout the 16 weeks. Um, so what this meant is we didn't see a significant difference between the intervention and control group in terms of hand washing with soap. Um, so what do these results mean? So we saw that hand washing with soap increased equally in both the intervention and control group from baseline to each follow up uh, with no significant difference between the two. This indicates that directly targeting children with a hand washing promotion intervention um, at the household level and providing soap, plain or surprise soap, can have a large impact and we should be doing interventions like this. However, in these two complex humanitarian settings, um, the additional cost of the surprise soap may not be justified. Um, but it did work in Iraq. So what differed between the two contexts? We think the two key differences are soap availability. So at baseline, um, soap was very available in Iraq, um, but there was low availability of soap in Sudan and Somalia. And in Iraq, children had very high exposure to hygiene promotion already, whereas they had little exposure to hygiene promotion in Sudan and Somalia. And what we hypothesized that that meant in Iraq, um, the standard intervention was not a novel intervention and didn't motivate children to, to wash their hands with soap. However, the surprise soap intervention offered a novel approach and, and was more motivating than the standard intervention, whereas in Sudan and Somalia, the standard intervention was just as motivating as the surprise soap because they hadn't received anything like this prior. Um, so in conclusion, all three trials do indicate that surprise soap increases children's hand washing with soap. However, we believe contextual knowledge should inform implementation decisions. In situations where access to soap and hygiene promotion exposure is low, the stand a standard intervention with plain soap may be more cost effective. Whereas where access to soap and hygiene promotion exposure is high, the surprise soap may be more effective as the novel option and its additional cost justified. 
So for next steps, we're looking to fund a health impact trial that answers the questions on whether the surprise soap intervention leads to reductions in infection and disease, and if the surprise soap intervention is more effective than standard intervention at reducing infection and disease. Um, thank you very much.